Rosie says she's lucky to be alive. We've changed her name and voice to protect her. Within two weeks of the first lockdown, her abusive partner beat her repeatedly, fracturing her skull. Her son, who was also attacked, managed to escape and raise the alarm. He was so drunk, he was hitting my head against the floor repeatedly until I was knocked out. My son was thrown across the room by him, but managed to get help from neighbours. I think that saved my life. Rosie says the help she received from the police and the charity Nextlink, who provided her with a safe place to stay, has been incredible. In a pandemic, everything was more scary. It took me 11 days to go to the police. I saw my life flash before me, but leaving was the best thing I did. Her partner was sentenced to 25 months in prison after pleading guilty to the attack. Since the start of the pandemic, Nextlink has seen a 30% increase in the number of people needing support. It's up from 5,700 to 7,500 people calling for help. We've remained open and responsive throughout the whole of lockdown. Um, so with support from our partners as well, um, we've also applied for extra funding. So we've increased our workforce. So we are able to respond to all victims and survivors that need to contact us for help and support. Whilst we're being told to stay at home to save lives, victims of domestic abuse are being told if you're in danger at home, you can leave and you can get help. It's being stuck at home at the moment can be a bit like Groundhog Day, but just think of Groundhog Day is not safe. So the message about that it doesn't apply to you if you are a victim, I think we just have to keep shouting louder and louder. Victims do not have to stay at home. Rosie and her children had to leave their home and dog behind when they were taken to a safe house. But she is about to move into a new home and says she's very hopeful for their future. My children needed to see this behaviour is not OK. They know their mum had the strength to get the help we needed. Charlotte Callan, BBC Points West.